Hello everybody, this is Lars again. Um, we are still talking about our small game show exercise in our series of commands in queues. So let's have a look at um, the commands which I have used um, during my programming. Um, there are not many, um, but uh, you have to think of them before. So first of all, what are the remote buttons um, doing? So let's hit the view button and have a look at these uh, command line. It's basically pretty easy. Um, I just um, start this executor, so say go executor 1.6 and then I move uh, executor 1.5 and uh, 1.4 at a different position. This is done by the move command to make sure that they are not uh, triggered by the other buzzers anymore. So this is to um, disable the other buzzers. So I hit the button He's highlighted, this is done by go, and then I move these two executors to a different place. So what is happening when I hit the wrong button? Um, let's have a look. There are three queues inside. So there are not only commands. The first queue is the strobe effect in red color. Then I stop the strobe effect and reduce the intensity. And then the last queue, I switch the executor off. So this third queue is completely empty. There are no values in it, just commands. But let's start with queue number one. The command which I've used in queue number one is again a move command. So I move the executor 1.6 at executor 2.6. So I move it to a different um, page to make sure that it is not triggered anymore by any by any bother. And um, then I change the color and in the last queue there is a park command which parks group number one. Group number one are these two fixtures. Um, I park them to make sure that they are not changed anymore. They stay at 50% intensity in blue color. And then I switch the executor off. This is just um, a nice to have to um, get an overview of what is active at the moment. So now when I hit the button over here, you see it's blue, uh, red, strobing, blue, and switch it off itself. And when I go to the next page, there is my queue still active, but parked. Um, the reset button is uh, again very, very simple. It's just an empty queue, which um, has a lot of move commands inside to move uh, all the executors back to its default position. And in the beginning, the first command which I have used, I unpack group number one through three, uh, just to show, um, yeah, just to make sure that I can start from the beginning. So they are parked by the wrong buttons and with reset, I unpack them. Uh, so when I hit the reset button, everything comes back to default to the status before. Um, in here, you can see that I'm just moving executors back to uh, the beginning, to this part of, uh, of the page. And um, the winner queue is uh, just a queue where I unpack every group to have control about them and then there is a uh, color effect position and dimmer effect inside there so nothing really complex it's just just this nice effect and an unpack command to have access to the fixtures so all of these commands are move commands park commands and um unpack commands. There's a go command as well. So a few commands which I have used to make sure that this um, exercise is solved. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any detailed questions about this and um, yeah, have fun. Bye bye.